In this video, we're going to finish out the midpoint formula worksheet on the CUDA software website. This is a free worksheet that you can find within the geometry section. I'll leave a link in the description below so you know how to access this free worksheet. For numbers 21 through 26, our directions are to find the other endpoint of a line segment with the given endpoint and the given midpoint. So previously, we've either had to find the endpoints or we were given the endpoints and we would have to solve for the midpoint. However, now we're given one endpoint and the midpoint, and we're solving for the other endpoint. So let's go over our midpoint formula one more time. So our midpoint formula, we get the x coordinate for our midpoint by adding the x coordinates of each endpoint. So x1 can be the x coordinate of one endpoint, and x2 is the x coordinate of the other endpoint, and we divide that by two to get the x-coordinate for the midpoint, and then for the y-coordinate of the midpoint, we're adding the y-coordinates of each endpoint together and dividing that by two. So essentially, we can say that x1 plus x2 over two is going to equal the x-coordinate of the midpoint. Let's call that x sub m. And y1 plus y2 is going to equal the y-coordinate of the midpoint, let's call this y sub m. So knowing this, our midpoint is essentially x sub m, y sub m. So using these formulas, let's go ahead and solve. In number one, we're given that one endpoint is negative one, nine, and the midpoint is negative nine, negative 10. So let's look at the x-coordinate first. The x-coordinate of our midpoint, x m, is going to be negative 9. And the x coordinate of one endpoint, let's just say x1, is negative 1. So we're going to plug that in and solve for x2. So we'll have negative 1 plus x sub 2 all over 2 equals x sub m, which is negative 9. Solving for that, we're going to multiply both sides by 2 so that the twos will cancel out on the left hand side. So we'll have that negative one plus x two equals negative nine times two, which is negative 18. All I have to do now is to add one to both sides to get that x two is equal to a negative 17. So negative 17 is the x coordinate of the unknown endpoint. So now let's find the y coordinate. So we're going to take negative 10 plug that in for ym, and we're going to take 9 and plug that in for y1, and then solve for y2. So y1, 9, plus y2, all over 2, equals negative 10. Again, I'm going to start by multiplying both sides by 2 to get that 9 plus y2 equals negative 10 times 2, which is negative 20. Then all I have to do is subtract both sides by 9 to get that y2 is equal to negative 20 minus 9, which is a negative 29. So now that I have x2 and y2, I can say that my other end point is negative 17, negative 29. Negative 17 and negative 29. Moving on to number 22. I have my end point, so x1, y1, and then I have my midpoint, x sub m, y sub m. So I'm going to have 2 plus x2 divided by 2 will give me the x coordinate of my midpoint, which we know is 5. I'll also have y1, 5, plus y2, our unknown, and if we divide that by 2, we'll get the y coordinate of our midpoint, 1. So now let me solve each of these. I'll start by multiplying both sides by 2 to get that 2 plus x sub 2 equals 10. Then I'll subtract 2 from both sides to get that x sub 2 is equal to a positive 8. So now I have my x coordinate for my other end point. Now let's solve for our y coordinate. Multiply both sides by 2. I'll have 5 plus y sub 2 equals 1 times 2, which is 2, 
subtracting 5 from both sides, I'll get my y sub 2 value, which is going to be negative 3. So I have 8 for x sub 2 and negative 3 for y sub 2. So my final answer is going to be 8, negative 3 for the coordinate of my other end point. In number 23, my one end point, let's call this x sub 1, y sub 1 is 5, 2. And then my midpoint, x sub m, y sub m, is negative 10, negative 2. So I know for my x coordinate of my one endpoint, I'm going to have to solve for x2. So my midpoint formula, x1 plus x2, that's going to be 5 plus x sub 2. Dividing that by 2 will give me the x coordinate of my midpoint, negative 10. And for my y coordinate of my endpoint, I'm going to use 2 plus y sub 2, divide that by 2, and that's going to give me my y coordinate of my midpoint, which we are given as negative 2. Solving each of these, I'll multiply by 2 in my first equation to get that 5 plus x sub 2 equals negative 20, since negative 10 times 2 is negative 20. And when I subtract 5, I'll get that negative 20 minus 5 is negative 25. So x2 is equal to negative 25. So now I have my x coordinate of my endpoint. Let's solve for the y coordinate of my endpoint. I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 to get that 2 out of the denominator. 2 plus y sub 2 is what's left on the left hand side. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. So then I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides to get that y sub 2 is equal to negative 4 minus 2, which is negative 6. So my x coordinate, negative 25, and my y coordinate is negative 6 of my other end point. So I have negative 25, negative 6 as my solution in number 23. In number 24, x1, y1, x sub m, y sub m, and I'm solving for my x2 and y2. So I'm going to have x1 plus x2 divided by 2 equals x sub m. So that's 9 plus x sub 2 all over 2 equals x sub m, which is 4. For my y coordinate of my endpoint, I'm going to have y sub 1, which is negative 10, plus y sub 2, divide that by 2, and that's going to give me my y coordinate of my midpoint, y sub m, which is 8. Solving for my x-coordinate, I'm going to start by multiplying by 2. Whatever I do to the left, I do to the right. So my 2's will cancel out since 2 divided by 2 is 1. So I'll be left with 9 plus x sub 2, and that's going to be equal to 4 times 2, which is 8. When I subtract 9 from both sides, I get that x sub 2 is equal to a negative 1. Now working on my y-coordinate, multiplying both sides by 2, I'll get that negative 10 plus y sub 2 is equal to 8 times 2, which is 16. So I'm going to add 10 to both sides to get that y sub 2 is equal to 26. So I have my x coordinate and my y coordinate. So my solution in number 24 will be negative 1, 26. And if you wish to double check, feel free to plug in x2 and y2 into our midpoint formula and solve to make sure you get 4, 8. In number 25, we're given that our one endpoint is negative 9, 7. We're also given that our midpoint is 10, negative 3. So we're going to have negative 9 plus x sub 2 all over 2 equals 10. And for our y coordinate, 7 plus y sub 2 all over 2 equals negative 3. Multiplying both sides by 2, we'll get that negative 9 plus x sub 2 equals a positive 20. Adding 9 to both sides, I'll get that x sub 2 equals 29. Then multiplying my y coordinate equation by 2, I'll get that 7 plus y sub 2 equals negative 3 times 2, which is negative 6. When I subtract 7 from both sides, I'll get that y sub 2 
equals negative 13. So my x coordinate is a positive 29 and my y coordinate is a negative 13. So for my end point, I'll have 29, negative 13 as my solution in number 25. Finally, our last problem with this set of directions, number 26. My x sub 1, negative 6, plus x sub 2, all over 2, equals 4, which is my x sub m. Solving for that, I'll multiply both sides by 2 to get that negative 6 plus x sub 2 equals a positive 8. Adding 6 to both sides will give me that x sub 2 equals 14. Now I'll use 4, my y sub 1, plus y sub 2, all over 2 equals 8, which is my y sub m. Multiplying both sides by 2, I'll have 4 plus y sub 2 equals 8 times 2, which is 16. Subtracting 4 from both sides, I'll get that y sub 2 is equal to 12. So my x coordinate is a positive 14, my y coordinate is a positive 12, so my solution is 14, 12, and number 26.